Hey, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'll show you a basic real estate hold sale analysis using my all-in-one model. Now to set this up, we have two scenarios before us. The first is we hold an existing property that we've owned for a while now for another 10 years. And we'll call that property Big Gray Apartments. The alternative is that we sell Big, big Gray Apartments and we currently have an offer on the table for 55 million and we take the proceeds from that sale and we buy Sunny Apartments. And so which decision do we make? Well, there's some qualitative and quantitative metrics that we need to look at. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the quantitative, the analysis that goes into this. And I'll be using my all-in-one model to do that. So the process goes as follows. Step one is we'll model the alternative investment. And so that investment we could buy, that we would take the proceeds from the sale of our, our existing investment, and we would model the returns of that investment over the next 10 years. And so I've done that in this version of the all-in-one. I came in, I dropped in the, the uh, property specifics, dropped in the acquisition price, plus any cost to acquire the property. I then went to my perm debt tab and I modeled debt, the terms of the financing, to be identical to what we believe we would have financing on our existing asset for the next 10 years. So in this case, 50% loan to value, 1% financing fee today, uh, an interest rate of, of whatever we think is market, amortized over 30 years. However, it's a 10 year term, full IO, so there is no amortization. And so next, we model out the operating cash flows for this new investment sunny apartments both on the rent roll and then on the mf opstat tab and then from there we come back we look at the value and we believe this is worth about 56 million today and we're buying this at some slight discount and the resulting levered irr on an annual basis is 9.45 percent with an equity multiple of 2.15 times and so that's step one. And we now understand if we were to sell and buy Sunny Apartments, we believe we would yield about 9.45% over a 10 year hold. Step two involves the hold analysis. And we say, what if we were just to hold this? We were to forego the opportunity of acquiring Sunny Apartments and we were to hold, which Big Gray is our hypothetical property that we own for another 10 years. So we drop in our property description, we make our analysis period identical to uh, the alternative investment. We come down here and we drop in an acquisition price. Now, this is important. Uh, the acquisition cost or our big negative cash flow in time zero of our DCF should be equal to the net proceeds from selling the property. And why that? Why the net proceeds from sale and not our actual basis? Well, what we're really looking at here, our cost in time zero is the opportunity cost of not selling. So if we were to give up the opportunity to sell, we're giving up the net proceeds that we'd earn from that sale. And we believe that this property is worth, ironically, the same as the other one, roughly 56 million, but given market conditions, we think we'd probably have to take a slight haircut and we'd sell it for 55 million. And then we would have to spend here, we'll say 2% of that in selling costs. Now you'll notice it's negative, And that's because we're arriving in our acquisition cost at a net proceeds. And so while on the sale uh, scenario, we were actually adding the cost such that our total acquisition cost is higher than our acquisition price. It's the opposite in our hold scenario, right? We're, we're, we're solving for our net proceeds. So in this case, that's 53.9 million. We then go to our debt and we model debt identical in terms of uh, the terms identical to our sale. So 50% loan to value in this case, 1% loan fee, same interest rate, same IO period, et cetera. We model out our operating cash flows for our existing investment, both on the rent roll and on the opstat tab. 
uh, we come back and we can look at again the value and the resulting levered IRR on the hold 6.92% with a levered equity multiple of 1.75. And when we compare those 692 to a 945 on a quantitative basis, uh, all else being equal, it makes more sense to sell and acquire the new opportunity sunny apartments. And with that, we performed a basic uh, hold sell analysis in real estate using the all-in-one model. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for your time today.